This is the FE4005 Stage 2. It is a Tier 10 British Tech Tree tank destroyer. And it's known for one thing, which is the gun. If it didn't have the gun that it features, nobody would really care about this tank nearly as much. But the 4005 is one of the most played tanks in the game. And it's pretty easy to understand why. It features a 183mm, dealing 1150 damage on the standard shells, and 1700 on the high explosive. And the HE also has 230 mils of pen. I think the worst decision Wargaming ever made was allowing high explosive to pen through spaced armor. Yeah, guys, let's take the 183 and 4005, two of the most toxic vehicles in the game, and now give their high explosive the ability to cut through your spaced armor. What? are you thinking yeah the 4005 is uh kind of insane personally i believe not only is it toxic but in a good player's hands kind of overpowered and if you don't believe me well uh today i have kitted out this vehicle for only accuracy we are running improved rotation mechanism to get 17 and a half percent better dispersion on move we are running vents to get better base dispersion and aiming time and we are running bounty aiming to get better aiming circle size with all this equipped, we have 0 0.32 dispersion. Yeah, 0 0.32. On a tank that does 1100, what? What am I looking at? How does that make any sense? Oh, man. I mean, yeah, our camo values are going to be absolutely dog water. They're, uh, yeah, 6% and 5%. But who gives a crap if I'm able to destroy whatever's spotting me? Well, we're going to find out. Let's get into some gameplay. Here we go. This is the best matchup we could have asked for in the 4005. We are up against Tier 8 in a vehicle that uh, can literally one-shot Tier 8, which is kind of insane. Not only are we up against Tier 8, but, um, well, we're also, uh, no Artie. What? This is like the best matchup we could have asked for here. Now, the only thing I will say, for some reason, my FPS is kind of wonky right now. You can see when I move my camera, it dips a lot. And I'm not sure why that is, but it is quite annoying. We have the LT-432. Oh, please try and cross it. Please try and cross it. Please, please, please. Yes! Long live the LT-432. And that right there is why accuracy on a 4005 is incredibly stupid. Why is that allowed? The world will never know. But, uh, I don't know what else to say. I mean, we literally just one-shot that player. I mean, we're getting spotted and stuff. Like, oh no. Anyway. Um, hmm. I mean, there's no arty, so it doesn't really matter if I get spotted. We have the 13-105. Let's just load an HE shell. To Ow. We just got blind-fired. Yeah, we did get blind-fired. Oh well. Not my problem. We're just going to chill right here. Oh, is the brass going to go for it? Is he going to go for it? That's my question. Let me aim in. Give me, give me a team bit. Yeah, there you go. Now that I'm aimed in, you can make the play. Okay, so we got the brass. And come on. Come on, he's so close to making the play. If he tries to go up mid, I'll kill him. Come on. I'm not going to be able to hit the AMX. That Brask will spot me, though, if he tries going up there. And uh, we've got nothing to spot that. Yep, there you go. Brask probably made it up the mid-ramp. Yep, there you go. Oh, all our T-100 had to do was spot that, and it would have been insane. Unfortunately, he didn't. And uh, because of that, a lot less capable. Oh, well. The chances of winning this game have definitely dipped quite a bit because of that. Uh, I can't really make a maneuver, unless maybe I go fully wide, but uh, not great stuff from our team here. Well, the STB is, weirdly enough, over by our TS-5. You can see the Tortoise and all these other vehicles over here. Let's, uh, let's aim in and, hmm, I'm going to have to load an AP shell. Yep, 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 and, well, uh, yeah, that was a pretty nasty shot. Oh, we didn't even get spotted. I should have fired... Oh, no, we did get detected. I should have fired HE, but uh, still pretty good. Oh, boy, we're getting shot at by the Brask and everybody else. All right, I'm just going to try and leave while we can. Um, oh, we got a damaged ammo rack. No. Man, our team is dookie this game. Our team is absolute dookie balls. I don't know what the heck they're doing. 
Oh well, this was the perfect matchup, and unfortunately, uh, it was not meant to be, it looks like. Alright, we reload, and... There you go, 1100 damage into the enemy tortoise. I mean, I can't really get too mad, even though we're gonna die. We did 3300 damage, and, uh, that's a pretty solid result for this vehicle. I'm just gonna move back and forth. I mean, we have a damaged Amarak anyway. Our reload is literally, like, 18 years. So... It really doesn't make too much of a difference, um, but maybe just maybe. Actually, we might be able to back up and get one more shell out somehow. Actually, we are. That is kind of crazy. All right, well, uh, yeah, let's just reload here. we got eight seconds left. Come on, come on. STB's already spotted, which is actually really good for us. Okay, let's see. Let's move up a bit, and let's chill, like, I don't know, right here? Unfortunately, another one of my teammates dies. Hmm. Doesn't look like anybody's getting spotted over here. Come on. Just one shot, that's all I want. Let's load HE, just to make it a little bit juicier. If our T-100's able to spot somebody, that would be great. Alright, well, we actually have some shots possible if we back up just a little bit. Just possibly on that brask. Really. That is disappointing. That is so disappointing. That should have hit the brask. I don't know where that went. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Alright, reload, reload, reload. Astron's making his way in. We got eight seconds left. Mm, come on, come on. Two, one, where's the Astron? Where is he? Where is he? He should be like right there. Guess I can't see him from that current angle. Hmm. Alright, let's move up a bit then. Come on. There you go. There you go. Bye bye. We actually didn't get spotted from that. That's kind of crazy. All right, let's reload. We got a little bit longer. 18 seconds, which is just enough to get another shell out, possibly. Got the E4, which I'm hoping will allow me to see his uh, side. Four, three, two, one. Yeah! There you go. That was worth 5,080 damage. Somehow, we turned what was an absolutely horrendous-looking game into actually a decent loss i mean we still lost don't get me wrong but i thought we were gonna get absolutely like crapped on this game especially when we got spotted there but it turned out we did over 5500 ish damage we blind fired the astron i cannot believe our shot missed that barask like i actually can't it, it must have gone like slightly over or slightly under him there because it was so close either way five thousand five hundred and 71 damage. What the absolute heck? The 4005 should not be able to get 0.32 dispersion. I'm sorry, it shouldn't. Like, this tank at max should be sitting at, like, 0 0.38, 0 0.37. 0.32 is ridiculous. What the heck? I'm literally able to, like, hit these shots pin perfect across the map. Oof, that was uh, kind of crazy, not gonna lie. Uh, this game could have been a win, but we had a lot of vehicle that did zero. I mean, I didn't do a lot during the early stages, but I did one shot a light tank. And if our T-100 had spotted that Barask crossing up the hill, we probably would have gotten two kills, but oh well. Either way, that was, uh, that was pretty fun. Normally, I do two helpings of gameplay, but I think this is a little toxic. Personally, I think the 4005 is an overpowered tank. You know, a lot of people say it's really bad, but... I mean, all you do is camp, and you can nuke somebody. As I said, this level of accuracy should not be allowed for this level of alpha. I don't think that it's fair, and uh, you, you saw a perfect example there. A decent player can sit in a 4005 back at spawn and nuke you. I always wonder how when I'm driving my mediums or lights and I'm poking, how a 4005 just manages to nail me. And now I know, it's actually an accurate vehicle. And the crazier part is that the 183 is even better on base accuracy at point. 
uh, 0.38. So you can actually make the 183 probably down to 0.3-ish dispersion. Like what? I don't understand that at all. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the 4005. I think it's an absolutely preposterous vehicle. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.